Like humans and most animals, dogs become territorial also. This behavior comes from their genetics because the protection of valuable resources is considered a good sign of survival. The main causes of extreme territoriality can include the lack of early socialization or interaction with other animals, as well as the lack of training. And in some cases, some dogs can even express a greater territorial behavior than usual towards family members in attempts to protect the things they consider as their property. This can include food, toys, and sometimes even certain people. The expression of territorial instinct has benefits too, like for example barking that warns us of possible intruders on our property. Above all, this protects us when we're at home and protects our home when we're away. So in this episode, the most territorial dog breeds. Doberman Pinscher. This dog was created by Carl Doberman to protect him while collecting taxes, which was a high-risk job during the 1880s. He created this dog by crossing breeds such as Rottweiler, Terrier, Greyhound, and several others. Although personalities can vary between individuals, this breed generally is known for its tendency to form a close relationship with the owner. He tends to be territorial and very suspicious of those he doesn't know, and as such will, without hesitation, attack those who, according to him, present a threat to his family. Males of this breed mark the perimeter of their territory by urinating around the borders as a sign of territoriality and are much more territorial than females. Cane Corso this Italian breed has a name that, in its origin language, means guardian. The purpose of its creation was to be used as a brave protector of the family and home. This dog judges fairly if there's a real threat and doesn't hesitate to use the necessary amount of force to avoid danger. The sense of responsibility that the breed has makes them difficult to manage when they make up their mind that something is wrong. Their strength and territoriality is what makes them considered as a weapon with a brain by their own. Akita There are two unique types of Akita, a Japanese type, commonly called the Akita Inu, and an American type, known as the American Akita. These two differ in appearance but remain the same in their character traits. Bred as a hunting dog, this breed is territorial and expresses this with independence, perseverance, and vigilance. While they only bark when necessary, this makes them silent hunters. Their warning signal in the way of monitoring owners and family has been possible thanks to their protective instincts that are present at all times. Rottweiler Your first meeting with a Rottweiler is their strong and deep voice. This happens because their instinct of territoriality is oriented to protect the family and home. At the beginning of their creation, this dog breed was used to protect livestock. His task was to bark as a warning sign of any visitor or danger. This bark, which he still uses today, is evident especially when he feels territorial, and continues until he verifies that this visitor doesn't present any threat or danger. Giant Schnauzer it's a German breed with a long history that was originally responsible for guarding livestock. This breed was later also used to monitor butcher shops, factories, and stockyards. Because of their attention to what's happening, vigilance to understand the danger, and the quick feet to react, all these characteristics of territoriality make them an excellent guardian for your property. German Shepherd just as common as their use in the police and military is, their presence as pets in many families is common too. They are so territorial that they consider themselves responsible for the safety of family members. Because they're characterized by high vigilance, that makes them be observant all the time and will bark to alert you if they discover that something is wrong or if someone unknown wanders very close to their property. You can't remove the territorial behavior from these dogs, but you can orient this behavior to your benefit. Commandor. This breed is bred to be a guardian of the herd, so instinctively they have an independent mind. In this way, if they decide that their members are endangered, they will react on their own. Their long and white fur makes them look like a sheep, therefore they're also known as mop dogs, which makes them look very soft, but in reality their personality is the opposite of that. They're extremely territorial and very suspicious. His unique appearance makes everyone turn their heads, but you'll find it impossible to approach him because of his very protective nature that doesn't allow him to interact with strangers. Tibetan Mastiff 
Besides people, these dogs also become territorial even if someone endangers their food or toys. This is because they feel responsible for the things they think are theirs. They're very reserved with strangers, so they show devotion only to the owners whom they try to notify whenever they see any threat. Their territoriality is so distinct that they even tend to consider the roads where they walk as their territory. Kangle Immediate response after noticing a danger and independence in action without taking orders has made this dog breed so useful for thousands of years as a herd keeper. A herd for this dog is not just animals, but people too, for whom Kangle becomes very territorial and possessive while trying to protect them and avoid any possible threat. Great Pyrenees The harsh environment of the Pyrenees Mountains hasn't stopped these dogs from being successful in protecting sheep herds. Shepherds used these dogs' territorial instincts for thousands of years as they protected not only the herd, but people also. Their noble appearance has made them the royal dog of France, territorial guards, and also much-loved family members. So, for what reason do you become territorial? Or do you hide it better than dogs? Let us know in the comments.